Here we are in the beautiful Dartmouth, which is the place where my next novel is set, which is called Whatever It Takes. It's a novel about a girl who moves from London and comes to this idyllic setting because her husband's family are from here and he was born and bred here. I needed a place where water was absolutely integral to the story and I talked to one of my friends who I often talk about plots to and said to her, you know, oh, I need this kind of character, this kind of community, I need that sort of backdrop and she said, your perfect place is Dartmouth. Now quite often as an author people suggest things to you, either stories you might want to write or places you might want to set your stories and they're not often exactly what the author's already thinking about too. But when my friend and I came along here for um, our first recce, our first visit, I just totally fell in love with Dartmouth and knew she got it absolutely right and I've had the best time writing here. Here I am in the very centre of Dartmouth at the beautiful bandstand, which actually is something that does feature in my book, only in a very small way. But it's really important for me to get the details of a place, a place right. Um, I do pride myself on my research. Um, and so when I was here, that did, of course, involve having lots of cream teas and ice cream because, you know, that's genuine research. This is a novel that's about family ties and the relationships we have within our families. Eloise's mother-in-law also is one of the narrators in this book, but during the course of the book you begin to doubt the things that were being said by the mother-in-law. And there is a reason for that. And without giving too much of the plot away, I can tell you that unfortunately she's becoming very ill and is really suffering from Alzheimer's. Therefore, as time goes on, she starts to let out family secrets that have an enormous impact on Eloise and her husband. It's a novel that asks, what do you do if love isn't enough?